Hi everyone, Dr. Goyle here. Um, I'm hoping that you're uh, going to enjoy this next episode of my Peak Human video series. And today we're going to talk about uh, lion's mane. And lion's mane is one of those amazing uh, functional mushrooms that you might be hearing about, and you know, various supplements and coffees and so on and so forth. And people are taking it for um, various health benefits, but one of those. Uh, is usually brain health and so let's today we want to talk about the science behind it what are the studies so that you can do this with your eyes wide open about what the real impact is at least to what people know um, so let's get started and uh, so we know lion's mane is the the actual scientific name is Harisium erinaceus I hope I'm pronouncing that right um, that's my best try at it and here you can see the readings, and it's called lion's mane. It kind of looks like the mane of a lion. Uh, you can see the hair, like it's kind of like a beard. Um, and that's why it's been given that name. It's been used for thousands of years in China. You know, it's medicinal, has medicinal effects, um, you know, for thousands of years. Um, and it's found uh, throughout the world, uh, Europe, um, Asia, and North America and it's been associated with various health benefits as I was mentioning uh, brain health so specifically we're going to be looking at something called neurogenesis which means creation of new neurons and uh, the second thing would be um, uh, immunomodulatory which means it's it's impact immune system up or down making it more or less reactive, so immunomodulatory, which many of these uh, fungus uh, species tend to be. And then third one, which we're not gonna dwell too much into, is the anti-tumor aspect. Looks like there's a couple of studies looking at the impact on cancer. Uh, but today we're gonna primarily gonna focus on uh, the brain part, which is what you know most people are taking it for because they've heard it has some type of impact on uh, brain health. So specifically, it's being used in neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, okay? Um, it also has some metabolic improvements. I, I forgot to mention that. It may improve the lipid profile by uh, decreasing LDL, which is the bad cholesterol and increasing HDL. It may uh, also improve your uh, uh, glucose metabolism, prevent liver damage from alcohol, and can slow skin aging. So a whole bunch of potential uh, benefits. But again, let's focus on the brain health because that's where most of the studies are. So this first study, um, looking by Sai Teng, and again, all the notes are going to, I'll put all these studies, the links to all the studies in the show notes. But this study looked at the extract of lion's mane and found that it reduced the cerebral amyloid beta plaque. So it decreased those plaques in mice. Um, also uh, helped support the microglia, which are those, uh, you know, basically those those types of neurons that help to remove the byproducts of cellular, cellular uh, function. So they help that and the promotion of hippocampal neurogenesis. So that's number one. Second study looked at uh, by Zhang et al. in 2016. So Zhang et al. 2016. Uh, also was looking at mice uh, model of Alzheimer's and it showed that it improved uh, the function of those mice. The next study uh, by Cheng et al. in 2016 was again in rats, and they found that uh, lion's mane had neuroprotective properties uh, and prevented amyloid beta toxicity. Um, it also seemed to pr protect the mitochondria of the neurons prevented cell shrinkage and uh, nuclear degradation. The next one, this one's an interesting one. Uh, it is an actual human trial. Uh, human trial 
by Lee et al. in 2020. And what they found was that uh, they basically gave an intervention of 350 milligrams of lion's mane um, and for 49 weeks. And the um, subject participants had improvement in the score of their uh, mini mental, the KC, which is the cognitive uh, ability screening instrument, and the uh, AIADLs, which is the uh, independent activities of daily learning and patients with mild Alzheimer's disease. So these people had mild Alzheimer's disease and they had these improvements with lion's mane. It was placebo-controlled um, um, randomized trial. And uh, the next one here, there's a couple more looking at um, immune function and cancer function. And I'm, I'm not going to really dive into those because those aren't really where we're focused on today. But I just wanted to summarize, so let's just summarize that here. So there seems to be an, a, a neuroprotective effect, neuroprotective, and neurogenesis, so again, more nerve cells in the hippocampus, which is where we want this to happen, a very important part of the brain. Okay. Hippocampus. And... Um, the uh, next effect seems to be an immunomodulatory and an anti-tumor effect. So there was some effect on where they basically took lion's mane, apply, you know, applied it to tumor cells and see, and sh were shown that it, it basically caused uh, decreased cell proliferation and apoptosis, which means basically these cells died, leukemia cells. So it seems pretty exciting. Um, uh, but uh, and it looks like there's some good evidence for you to be taking lion's mane in your coffee or just as a pill, and uh, you know this is not this seems to be real. But again, only animal studies, mostly apart from that one human study. I'll put all the links in in the show notes, and we will talk to you next time. I think I'm going to do a video on cordyceps because it seems to be a lot of hype about that, and some amazing like you know things that people say. Uh, so let's let's find out, and I'll uh, get back to you next week. All right, take care.